One undeniable fact is that the Tesla Semi has always been the most questioned electric Class 8 Semi truck in the transportation industry. Yeah, it's been doubted even after proving its strength through real-world operations. Yeah, most people believe the Tesla Semi is a good truck, but they've always been skeptical about whether Tesla can mass-produce this Class 8 Semi. And the fact that the total number of Semis produced so far can be counted on one hand has only proven the skepticism to be well-founded. From 2017 until now, nearly eight years, very few people haven't asked the question, why hasn't such an efficient truck been produced in larger numbers? Now Elon Musk has finally given us an answer. The Tesla Semi has essentially been waiting for a new factory, along with major updates for the 2026 version of the Semi. Elon Musk revealed at a Tesla shareholder event that when you look at the old Semi and the new Semis hitting the road in 2026, you won't even recognize them as the same Tesla Semi. Okay. This version promises not only a dramatic redesign, but also a major turning point in manufacturing efficiency, as Tesla rolls out the Giga Semi production line. The new model will feature improved motors, better aerodynamics, reduced weight, and optimized production costs, allowing output to scale up to as many as 200 units per day. On top of that, the lower drag coefficient boosts energy efficiency, extends driving range, and delivers significant fuel savings. So the big question is, can the new Tesla Semi truly take down heavyweight competitors like Peterbilt and Volvo? Over the next 18 minutes, let's break down at least eight major changes between the two versions. Over the past few years, the Tesla Semi has attracted major attention in the transportation industry thanks to its outstanding performance. Capable of traveling 500 miles even while hauling a gross weight of over 70,000 pounds, with extremely low energy consumption of just 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. To achieve this, one of the most critical factors behind its success has been the battery system. However, the battery is also at the top of the list of upgrades for the new version of the Semi. Okay, very few people know that for the versions produced from 2017 up to now, Tesla has been using LFP batteries for the Semi, a choice aimed at reducing production costs and improving safety for electric trucks. However, while LFP batteries offer several notable advantages, they also come with drawbacks that must be carefully considered over the long term. LFP batteries stand out for their excellent safety characteristics and stable operation in cold weather. This is a crucial factor for electric trucks, especially in cold climate regions where traditional batteries can suffer from reduced performance and accelerated degradation at low temperatures. LFP batteries have high thermal stability and are far less prone to fires or explosions, helping ensure operational safety, particularly for a large vehicle like the Tesla Semi. In addition, LFP batteries have lower production costs compared to other battery types such as NCA or NCM. However, the biggest downside of LFP batteries is their relatively low energy density. This means that to deliver a 500-mile range for the Tesla Semi, Tesla must use more individual cells in each battery pack. As a result, the 900-kilowatt-hour battery pack requires a higher cell count, which in turn increases the overall weight of the truck. Using more batteries also means higher production costs, even though LFP cells themselves are relatively inexpensive. The 2025 versions of the Tesla Semi face increased costs because they require a larger number of battery cells, making the battery pack heavier and negatively affecting the truck's overall weight and payload capacity. This issue is especially critical in the freight industry, where payload capacity and energy efficiency are make or break factors. The weight of the battery pack directly impacts the maximum load the Tesla Semi can carry, while also increasing energy consumption, reducing driving range, and overall operating efficiency. Although LFP batteries offer clear advantages in terms of safety and manufacturing cost, they are not an optimal long-term solution for the Tesla Semi, particularly as the truck moves into long-haul routes where efficiency must be maximized. With their lower energy density, LFP batteries limit the Semi's long-distance performance and add unnecessary weight. That's why Tesla has confirmed it will switch to HV batteries, also known as 4680 cells for the new version of the Tesla Semi trucks. Okay, one of the biggest changes in the 2026 Tesla Semi is the adoption of the 4680 battery. The highest energy density battery Tesla currently has with nearly double the energy density of LFP cells. The 4680 battery, which until now has been reserved primarily for the Cybertruck, is finally being integrated into the Tesla Semi. The goal of this upgrade is straightforward, 
to reduce the cost of the semi without sacrificing performance. This means that with a higher energy density battery, Tesla can use fewer cells in each battery pack while still achieving the same overall energy capacity. This also helps reduce the weight of the tractor. The 4680 battery features a tabless design, meaning it eliminates traditional connection tabs, which reduces energy loss and heat buildup during operation, ultimately improving efficiency and battery longevity. However, Dan Priestley has confirmed that the Semi's driving range will remain unchanged even with the new battery. The reason is that with higher energy density, Tesla can use a smaller battery pack instead of the current 900 kilowatt hour pack. As a result, the Tesla Semi can maintain its 500 mile range while increasing payload capacity and offering a lower price compared to the previous version. This upgrade not only helps reduce costs for freight operators, but also strengthens the Tesla Semi's competitiveness against traditional diesel trucks. These improvements position the Tesla Semi not just as an electric truck, but as an optimized operational tool that delivers long-term economic benefits for transportation businesses. The 4680 battery now has a much lower production cost than in previous years, with Tesla successfully cutting battery manufacturing costs by up to 40%. At the same time, the 4680 battery offers greater reusability thanks to its longer lifespan and its ability to withstand harsh conditions with relatively stable performance, which is exactly why it's used in the Cybertruck. However, reports suggest that Tesla is not completely phasing out LFP batteries for the Tesla Semi. These batteries will still be used in the 300-mile short-range versions, helping to further reduce costs for shorter routes or regional freight operations. What's especially important here is that LFP batteries help lower the upfront purchase price of the truck. As a result, small businesses or customers who don't need long driving range can opt for this version to save on initial investment. While LFP batteries have lower energy density compared to the 4680 cells, they still meet key requirements for safety and durability. Another notable upgrade in the 2026 Tesla Semi is the new ultra-fast charging system. Tesla has improved its charging technology to reach power levels of up to 1.2 megawatts, significantly reducing charging time. Currently, the Tesla Semi takes about 40 minutes to charge from 10% to 70%, but the new version will need only around 30 minutes. This reduces delivery downtime and helps maximize operational profits for fleet operators. Now let's talk about the design changes. From our perspective, the Tesla Semi is still one of the most visually impressive electric trucks ever built, even though it debuted nearly a decade ago. Yeah, you could say its design was ahead of its time, and it remains the electric truck with the lowest drag coefficient to date. That said, Tesla is still making major revisions in the upcoming version, all in pursuit of one key goal. As you can see, the 2025 Tesla Semi features a fairly simple, rugged design with an upright stance and sharp angular lines. The cabin maintains a minimalist approach, focusing on functionality but not yet fully optimized. The large windshield provides excellent visibility for the driver, but its sharp angles make the overall design feel less fluid and aerodynamic. With the launch of the 2026 Tesla Semi, Tesla has carried out a design revolution, one that goes beyond aesthetics, to focus on aerodynamic optimization, reducing air resistance and improving energy efficiency. The front end has been completely redesigned, featuring smoother curves and far fewer rigid angles than before. This new design not only gives the truck a more modern look, but also lowers drag, improves energy efficiency, and extends driving range. In addition, the cabin has been reworked to be not only more attractive, but also more practical for drivers. The windshield has been replaced with a shorter, more easily removable unit, helping reduce weight and manufacturing costs while still maintaining excellent visibility. This change further enhances aerodynamic efficiency and eliminates unnecessary elements, all while preserving driver comfort. One of the most notable upgrades on the 2026 Tesla Semi is the addition of a modern LED light bar across the front, designed to improve illumination and strengthen brand recognition. While the headlights on the current version already make the front end look striking, we think many people will prefer these new updates. Overall, the new Semi definitely looks more distinctive, right? The slim, modern LED light bar not only enhances aesthetics, but also improves lighting performance. Which headlight design do you like better? Thanks to these changes, 
the drag coefficient of the new version has also been improved. By reducing drag to 0.33 from 0.36 on the previous model, Tesla has further optimized the design for greater energy efficiency. Although this may seem like a small change, in reality, a 0.03 reduction in drag coefficient can improve energy efficiency by 5 to 8 percent, helping the truck save energy and extend its driving range. One of the most notable upgrades on the 2026 Tesla Semi is the addition of a modern LED light bar across the front, designed to improve illumination and strengthen brand recognition. While the headlights on the current version already make the front end look striking, we think many people will prefer these new updates. Overall, the new Semi definitely looks more distinctive, right? The slim, modern LED light bar not only enhances aesthetics, but also improves lighting performance. Which headlight design do you like better? Thanks to these changes, the drag coefficient of the new version has also been improved. By reducing drag to 0.33 from 0.36 on the previous model, Tesla has further optimized the design for greater energy efficiency. Although this may seem like a small change, in reality, a 0.03 reduction in drag coefficient can improve energy efficiency by 5 to 8 percent, helping the truck save energy and extend its driving range. Most importantly, the 2026 Tesla Semi is also significantly lighter due to the use of lightweight yet durable materials. Reducing weight increases the truck's payload capacity while also extending range without compromising performance. The chassis has also been optimized to handle heavy loads while maintaining stability and safety during operation. Most importantly, the 2026 Tesla Semi is also significantly lighter due to the use of lightweight yet durable materials. Reducing weight increases the truck's payload capacity while also extending range without compromising performance. The chassis has also been optimized to handle heavy loads while maintaining stability and safety during operation. One of the most important factors in the 2026 Tesla Semi is the shift in manufacturing technology. With Tesla completing construction of the Giga Semi factory, the company can now produce up to 200 trucks per day, an impressive figure compared to the past, when production was limited and each vehicle was assembled almost by hand. This not only increases supply for the market, but also significantly reduces manufacturing costs, benefiting both Tesla and freight operators. Yeah, ultimately, all of the exterior changes Tesla has made to the 2026 Semi serve one single goal, achieving full autonomous driving. Driving a heavy-duty truck, especially on long-haul routes, is an extremely demanding job that requires constant focus and leads to significant fatigue. According to multiple studies, driver fatigue is one of the leading causes of accidents in the trucking industry, making it a major concern for long-haul drivers. Full self-driving doesn't just allow the truck to control itself over long distances, it also reduces the burden on drivers, enabling them to rest while the vehicle drives itself, particularly during long and stressful journeys. However, to make this possible, Tesla has had to significantly redesign the Semi's exterior to better accommodate sensors, cameras, and advanced driver assistance systems, optimizing the vehicle specifically for autonomous operation. As you see, Tesla has added a brand new camera location right above the front wheel arch, a pretty clear sign that the Semi is being optimized to become a fully autonomous heavy truck. And if FSD really makes it onto the Semi, this changes everything. The truck could operate almost 24-7, stopping only for 30 minutes at Megacharger. FSD requires an extremely precise and efficient system of sensors and cameras so the vehicle can accurately perceive its surroundings and operate safely. To meet this requirement, Tesla has equipped the 2026 Semi with a new set of cameras and sensors. These systems enable the truck to detect objects, calculate distances, and adjust driving behavior, especially in complex situations such as heavy traffic, loading zones, or narrow lanes. With a production target of 50,000 units next year, Tesla isn't just aiming to solidify its position in the electric truck market, it's also setting a major milestone in the transition toward sustainable freight transportation. This production goal has the potential to reshape how logistics companies operate, while also creating significant opportunities for Tesla to further optimize manufacturing processes and reduce costs. Producing 50,000 Tesla semis in 2026 is a major challenge for Tesla, but it also represents a critical turning point for the company. 
Previously, Tesla Semi production was extremely limited, with only around 300 units delivered to major customers such as PepsiCo, Walmart, and DHL by the end of 2024. However, with expanded production capacity and fully developed assembly lines, Tesla plans to reach this number next year, while also beginning to offer the Tesla Semi not only to large corporations, but to small and mid-sized businesses as well. This goal isn't just about volume, it's about quality and manufacturing efficiency. Tesla has made significant investments in building a fully automated production line at Giga Nevada, where the Tesla Semi will be mass-produced. This approach reduces assembly time, optimizes costs, and accelerates production speed, helping Tesla reach its ambitious manufacturing targets more efficiently. One of the key factors enabling Tesla to reach its goal of producing 50,000 semis in 2026 is Giga Semi, the company's dedicated factory for the new Tesla Semi. Tesla has made massive investments in this facility, which spans up to 4 million square feet and is equipped with some of the most advanced manufacturing technologies available today. By integrating on-site battery production, Tesla can reduce its reliance on external suppliers and ensure a more stable battery supply for truck manufacturing. Giga Semi doesn't just solve Tesla's production volume challenges, it also supports deep optimization of manufacturing processes, from chassis assembly to the integration of automated systems. One of Tesla's most ambitious goals is to drastically shorten the time required to build a single Semi, with estimates suggesting that one truck could be completed in as little as 10 minutes. This not only accelerates production, but also significantly lowers costs opening the door for true mass production at a lower price point and making electric trucks more competitive with traditional diesel rigs. Although the Tesla Semi has traditionally been seen as a high-cost vehicle, the push toward large-scale production, combined with major updates planned for next year's version, will allow Tesla to further optimize costs and deliver greater value to customers. Expanding production scale helps Tesla reduce expenses related to raw materials, components, and manufacturing processes. As a result, the price of the Tesla Semi is expected to come down, making it accessible to a wider range of freight operators, including small and mid-sized businesses. In addition, mass production will further improve Tesla's operational efficiency. Highly automated factories reduce reliance on manual labor, streamline manufacturing processes, and save time, ultimately increasing productivity while lowering production costs. These advances in manufacturing technology allow Tesla to cut expenses and boost profitability, creating a strong competitive advantage over traditional truck manufacturers. The Tesla Semi has the potential to change the freight industry forever, thanks to the level of efficiency it delivers. So far, it's the only electric truck that has truly convinced us. Elon Musk once intended to manufacture this model in Europe to expand the market, but regulatory and infrastructure challenges have slowed that plan. Still, with the latest updates and adjustments, who knows, maybe we'll see the Tesla Semi operating in Europe sooner than expected. What do you think about the new version of the Semi? Do you think it can realistically operate in Europe? Let us know your thoughts and we'll continue to keep you updated. Thanks for watching.